Jarek McKinnon is being recruited to the Cleveland Browns, and DeAndre Hopkins doesn't say he prefers a trade to the Chiefs or the Bills. We're talking all this and more. It's time to get All Chiefed Up. What's happening, Chiefs Kingdom? Welcome back to All Chiefed Up. A lot of you guys are wondering what's going on with Jarek McKinnon. Why has he not received a contract offer from the Chiefs yet? Why is he not back on this roster? Well, it looks like that Juan Thornhill is actually trying to get him to go over to the Cleveland Browns. He put out this tweet here that says, Yo, at Jet McKinnon, need a place to stay in Cleveland? With the eyeball emoji. So he's trying to get him to go to Cleveland, Mike. What do you think about that? Kadarius Tony didn't take too kindly to that tweet. He tweeted back, Nuh-uh, I got him a spot. And I firmly with Kadarius Tony here. I think we need to keep Jerry McKinnon if possible. But I do think Beach is going to wait till after the draft because if he can find somebody on the cheap or maybe find somebody in the draft, I do think we're going to look elsewhere. This is just a way for us to save more money. Yeah, for sure. Jarek McKinnon had his best year last year, so he's probably expecting a decent payday, maybe a multi-year contract. I don't know if Brett Veach wants to extend that to a guy that's in his 30s and has an injury history. We've talked about before, we have guys on the roster already, though not proven. They have the same skill set as Jet McKinnon, maybe lacking a little bit of that leadership and the pass blocking. But as far as being a receiving back and having that speed and everything, Jerry Neely sitting on our practice squad, he could very well make the 53-man roster this year. Kareem Hunt was picked up by Cleveland when we got rid of him in Kansas City. Now it looks like they're looking at Jarek McKinnon. Makes perfect sense. Juan Thornhill is being a recruiter. He's pulling his best MVS impersonation right now. I just don't know if any front office is going to listen to a player. It's all about who's got the money, what they actually need. It's the same way with Beach. We could all want McKinnon back, but at the end of the day, if Beach doesn't see him on this roster, he's not going to be on the roster. Right, Mike, if we don't get Jarek McKinnon back, what do you think is the downfall of that? Is it a big deal? Yeah, I actually think we're going to struggle a little bit in the passing game. He's a nice uh, asset for Patrick Mahomes coming out of the backfield. He blocks really well for Patrick Mahomes. We've seen Pacheco struggle with picking up run blocks some, and I think we need somebody to do that. You had mentioned Jerry and Ely. I think that's a possibility. Maybe we can snag somebody in the second or third round of the draft, even though I think that's too rich. But if we could get somebody like Ty J Spears, that'd be pretty sweet too. So here at All Chiefed Up, we finally rolled out memberships. If that's something that you're interested in, go over to our channel and click that join button. You'll see that there's three different tiers, Matt Castle tier, a Alex Smith tier, and a Patrick Mahomes tier, varying prices and varying perks. So see which one you like and go ahead and get that done. So what you will notice is when you sign up, you'll get badges. Those are created by Emily Morgan Creates on TikTok. She's been going viral, recreating all kinds of NFL logos, NHL logos, you name it. She's been doing it. Chiefs fans haven't really received it too well, but it's because they're looking at it as a replacement and not just a cool idea that she was trying to showcase with her talents. And so we reached out to Emily. She let us use it. It's an exclusive badge now for All Chiefed Up. You can also see the logo in various places we're going to put it. So if you like that, if that's something you need, if you need designs yourself, hit up Emily Morgan Creates at gmail.com and tell her All Chiefed Up sent you. And now on to Chiefs Kingdom's favorite subject as of the offseason, DeAndre Hopkins. He's made the news again. There was a guy that actually asked him if he could say whether he would like to go to certain destinations only using body language. And you can watch it right here in this video. I don't want you to verbally answer this question. Okay. I'm going to name some destinations. I want your body language or your facial expression to determine like, ooh, would I like that spot if the Cardinals want to trade you. First destination. We're going to go with the New England Patriots. All right. Second destination. We're going to go with the Buffalo Bills. Huh. Third destination. We're going to go with the New York Jets. Last destination. We're going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, you know, some of the, 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 the best answers are the answers where you don't hear So anything. it looked like for the Patriots and the Jets, he wasn't too enthused, but the Bills and the Chiefs, he seemed a little intrigued. Steve, this is just fanning the flame of Chiefs Kingdom, trying to bring in D-Hop. Again, we're going to ask this for the last time. Is this a possibility for the Chiefs to land D-Hop in the offseason, or is this just a pipe dream? It is a possibility. It's not a huge possibility. I think if they do, it will be like a draft night trade, something flashy, something crazy like that. I don't know. But him wanting to go to the Chiefs or wanting to go to the Bills over the Patriots or the Jets is not surprising in the least. Any player in their right mind would want to go to a better franchise at the moment and actually compete for a Super Bowl. However, it's not really his choice as to where he lands. 
On our last live, we asked the question that maybe Chris Jones was trying to reel him in at this fishing tournament. I don't know what they actually spoke about. Starcade Media sat down and asked him a couple questions. He was kind of hush-hush when asked about Justin Ross. And a lot of people are making the point that if Chris Jones wants to restructure, maybe he can fork over some money to get DeAndre Hopkins. But is Nut going to take a payday cut? And is Chris Jones going to take a payday cut? I don't know. Money talks in this league, and I don't see either one of them budging here. The main focus here is for us to extend Chris Jones, lock him up long term. He's going to be a chief for life. If he wants to take a little bit off of that just to free up some money, Patrick Mahomes style, that's cool too. But I wouldn't expect it from him. I'm not expecting too much from Chris Jones in the way of giving up money. Then again, if he wants to stay with the Chiefs and they want to keep chasing rings and you want DeAndre Hopkins, this is the way you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to convince Brett Veach that you're willing to play ball and he'll go get him. So what about you guys? Do you want to see Patrick Mahomes with a true wide receiver one finally and see if it can elevate his game? Let us know down in the comments. Tomorrow night, Steve, we're going to be doing a live stream with Bro Schmo. If you like the draft, if you like to hear about players that we may select, Go ahead and tune into that. Bro Schmo is an awesome dude. He evaluates these guys all year. He's very draft knowledgeable. We're going to pick his brain about what we think the Chiefs need. That's going to be at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time in Kansas City. So you guys, be sure and catch that tomorrow night. And speaking of getting the Chris Jones extension done, how about those Chiefs drop this video right here talking about just that. Make sure to check it out. Get in our comments. And thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Aside from my soul I, I, I.